Stars are always there. A thousand years, ten thousand years, ten million years, they're the same. An international team has found 798 stars that have quietly disappeared between old surveys and modern ones. It's a serious challenge to how we think stars die if they really simply died. Or, for those who like things spicy. Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, alien megastructures blocking the light. That's a real hypothesis. I knew it. Aliens are always behind these stuff. But how did we find stars are missing? It all began with a single disappearance. In 2016, astronomer Beatrice Villaroel compared two vast maps of the sky, one drawn from mid-20th century photographic plates, and another captured by modern digital surveys. Stars shouldn't simply vanish. They may dim, flare, or die spectacularly, but they don't disappear without a trace. And yet one had. It was visible in the 1950s, shining faintly among countless others, and now it was gone. Not hidden behind dust, not drifting out of sight, just gone. That single anomaly became the spark for the Vasco Project short for vanishing and appearing sources during a century of observations. To track these vanishings, the team blends old-school detective work with cutting-edge tech. Computers align the old and new images. Machine learning flags suspicious changes, and human volunteers, the citizen scientists, double-check what the algorithms can't. So far, the Vasco team has uncovered two main kinds of disappearances, long-term vanishings, the 798 stars that faded away and never returned, and brief, unrepeatable flashes that appeared on old plates for mere minutes then vanished forever. The first group may be the result of something called a failed supernova. Normally, when a star more than eight times the mass of the sun runs out of nuclear fuel, it ends in a spectacular explosion, a type 2 supernova. But sometimes, the story ends quietly. Instead of exploding, the star collapses under its own gravity. The shockwave that should have blown it apart never forms. Instead, the whole thing just implodes, falling inward until it disappears behind its own event horizon. As for those brief 1950s flashes, the ones that appeared for minutes, then never again. When the team compared the dates, they noticed a bizarre coincidence. Those transients often appeared within a day of nuclear weapons tests. The likeliest culprit wasn't a cosmic phenomenon at all, but fallout from Earth's own experiments, radiation in the upper atmosphere, creating false signals on photographic plates. And then there's the wild card, alien engineering. That would be a Dyson Sphere. If a Type II civilization wanted to capture all their star's energy, they'd build a Dyson Sphere a massive structure that wraps around the entire star. If an advanced civilization did build a Dyson Sphere, to us, it would look as if the star had vanished in visible light, replaced by a faint infrared glow as the structure radiated waste heat. So far, though, there's no convincing proof. No missing stars surrounded by suspicious infrared halos. The universe, it turns out, is far less predictable than the textbook suggested. The Vasco team hasn't found the alien megastructure yet, but they're still looking. Every vanished star is a mystery. And mysteries in astronomy as in life, are what keep us looking up.